Well, this is weird. Hi guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel if this is your first video here. I have been MIA. I don't even know if people still watch. Well, I know they don't still watch because I haven't posted anything to watch, but I don't know if you guys are still subscribed or if you even remember who I am or if you've been keeping up with me on other social media platforms. But I'm back to put it briefly. Obviously, we're going to get into everything. You guys can tell by the title of this video, I have a lot to discuss. So I don't want to bore you guys too much with the intro. Let's just get into the million dollar question. Where the hell have I been? <laughs> if you are new here, I used to vlog pretty often, usually about once a week. Um, I vlogged all through my college experience. I went to the University of Alabama. I think that's why a lot of you started following me that. And of course, the sex trafficking video but a lot of you followed me for like sorority content and I still get people that come up to me to this day or that I meet through social media and they're like oh I used to watch your YouTube videos I'm like I really miss making those but you're probably wondering why I stopped because I was really excited and I made a video around this time last year about how I was starting a new job I graduated and I was so excited to take you guys through this new phase of life being you know post-college life first job out of college etc why well, haven't why didn't I do that I think I posted maybe one or two vlogs post-graduation. One, I went back to Tuscaloosa, maybe like two of those. And then uh, that was pretty much it. And you guys never heard from me again on this channel. I went off the face of the earth. We're just going to dive right into the why before we get into everything else that's titled in this video. For those of you that don't know, I majored in news media concentrated in sports in college with a minor in communications. I started my first big girl job after college in June, so it's almost been a year. Um, as a TV reporter, so I did some news and I did some sports, I did some producing, I kind of did all of the above. When you work in television, there is a lot of roles and a lot of contracts and things. It's almost like athletes before the NIL deal was a thing, um, how you can't use your name, image, and likeness which kind of applied to YouTube. I've done TikTok, I've done other social media things, but because I could make money off of YouTube, it was kind of prohibited. It was one of those things I couldn't do. I couldn't podcast. I couldn't do any of those things that I really loved to do. So I stopped posting. I didn't give you guys an explanation. I just went mute. And that's kind of the logistics behind that. I don't really want to get into any more details about it, but just know like there are contracts, there are things that you can and cannot do. And that is one of the things that you cannot do. So that is why I haven't been posting on here. Before we move on from this job, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what I've been doing for the past year. Let's let's kind of catch you up on my life. Working in television is one of the most challenging yet rewarding, fun, interesting, never boring, but exhausting things that someone can choose for a career. Definitely didn't know what I was getting into or what I thought I was getting into might be not exactly what I was getting into when I got my first job out of college. I was kind of prepared for it through college um, and internships, but I could only know what I was getting into once I got into it. To say that I have loved the past year working, I don't want to say the TV station or the area that I was working in. I don't even think I'm really allowed to, so you guys can do your own research if you want, but I'm not gonna name that. It's been a great year. I've loved the experience. I've loved the storytelling, getting to meet new people every single day. You're on a new location. You're interviewing people. I, the sports part, absolutely hands down favorite part of it. I just had so much fun like going to games and videoing highlights and getting to know the athletes and telling their stories and same thing with the news side of things. I'm just like, whatever I was doing, whatever day, it was so fun, but it was a lot. And I'm the kind of person that likes to have a life, a busy go, go, go on the road doing life. And that kind of clashed with my career, considering you're, you're not always on the clock, but it's almost like you're always on the clock. My, the past year of my life, I feel like I was out of town almost every weekend um, when I wasn't working. Obviously during football and basketball season, I would work late on Friday night till like midnight and then I would literally wake up Saturday morning, drive to Tuscaloosa to go watch Alabama play football and hang out with my friends or I would go to uh, wherever, you know, just to get out because that's the kind of person I am. And that was exhausting because then you come back Sunday night and you go do it all over again Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the hours are a lot. Um, my schedule was on news days, 9.30 to 6.30. Some days you might go in at 9.30 and you might not get off till 10.30 or on uh, sports days, it's typically 2.30 to 11.30, which a lot of times ends up being more like 12.30. And it was fun. 
And what I will say about the job is the people that I work with, the people that I work for, have been nothing but the best. I work with most people my own age. We're all pretty fresh out of school. Everyone varies from about 21 to 30. So much fun. I have nothing bad to say about anyone there. I have made some of the best friends that I will keep for life through this job, and I will be forever thankful that I had this experience. However, about, um, you know, somewhere between December and January, I guess, is kind of when I started thinking, is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Like, it's only going to get busier from here. Do I really, I feel like I tried to almost mix my hobbies with my career, with the whole sports thing. I loved going to games. I loved being a fan. But when you are reporting on it, you can't really do that. You can't actually, I couldn't go to the games that I wanted to go to because I'm based in Kentucky. Obviously, my favorite team is in Alabama. It just made it difficult. And so that was kind of conflicting with my interests, I guess. So I debated for a few months, you know, what am I going to do? My contract doesn't end until June of 2023, which is a while away. If you don't know, um, I'm sure most jobs have contracts. Most of them you have to buy out. Pretty expensive. So my plan was to just stay through my contract and then decide, you know, do I want to go forward with this career in TV or do I want to toy with social media, which was always my backup plan. And then I quit. I quit my job. So let's get into the why. I don't even know how to go about explaining this without sounding like I'm off the walls insane. So for those of you that don't know what 50 Dates, 50 States is, there is a guy named Matt Warnig who is going around, he's on season two, traveling to all 50 states and going on a girl with, e and going on a date with each girl in each different state. I was the Kentucky day. I applied just for fun out on a whim in like December. Matt called me uh, towards the end of February, told me I was Kentucky, we planned the date, I went on the date March 1st, um, it was a lot of fun, I kind of figured that would be the end of that. Tennessee date reaches out to me on Instagram, we become friends. She lives in Nashville, so that's not that far from me, it's like three and a half, four hours. So she's like, come to Nashville, let's spend a weekend together, so of course, like, I love Nashville, I have friends in Nashville, and I thought me and this girl would get along really well. I was like, we seem pretty similar, like, let's do it. So I drove to Nashville to hang out with a girl that I've never met before, don't know, except for we both went on a date with the same man. We like obviously were posting on Instagram, making TikToks, like having fun with it, but we also just like instantly clicked, like instant best friends. And from there, um, Matt's management, the people that are managing 50 Dates, 50 States had reached out to Jess and I and got us on the phone. Things spiraled really quickly from here. So this is where what I'm doing next is gonna come into play and it's also why I quit my job. So they got Jess and I on the phone. We talked for a couple weeks going over everything, what they wanted us to do, what we would be doing. And you know, I was like, well, this is something that I can't do with my current job, which I was already considering getting out of obviously. So I had to make a decision and the pros outweighed the cons for leaving and trying this new thing. And so here we are today and that is why I'm filming this video to let you guys know what's next and where we're going from here. Jess and I signed with this management. Jess, Jess is the girl from Tennessee. Jess and I signed with this management. We went up to Detroit, which is where they're based um, about three weeks ago. We had our first in-person meeting with our manager and the investors and we kind of laid it out on the line and we were like, okay, this is what we're doing. So what am I doing next? Why, why did I quit my job? I keep going around the question, but I'm ready to do the announcement now. So for those of you that aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and haven't seen the news, Jess and I got our own podcast and show, which are two different things. Here's the logo. It's called The Jess and Jade Show. Basically, this is the beginning of what is to come for my career. So the podcast in itself is just about me and Jess, two 23-year-old girls living life, figuring it out while they go. Obviously, nothing's perfect. We don't have it figured out, and that's kind of the message we want to convey through the podcast is you don't have to have it figured out at 23. And we're just kind of sharing our experiences and our stories, dating life, boys, career. Um, we're currently, we're, we just filmed episode two. Our first two guests, other girls that went on the same 50 days, 50 states uh, experience. So we, when we all went to Nashville, when I went to Nashville the second time, we went with Matt's Indiana date, McKenna, his North Carolina date, Olivia, and his Maryland date, Ashley. And we all had like 
a girls weekend and so we've already had McKenna and Liv on who we haven't met in person yet but that's all besides the point so that's just kind of where we're at with the podcast right now is it's basically just a lot of fun it's just whatever we want it to be whatever you guys want it to be we want to get you guys involved we do fan questions at the end uh, we answer you know any questions or advice that you guys have or want and then for the show we will be doing it a little bit more professionally we're shooting the first show this upcoming weekend in Michigan we have our first guest. We haven't announced it yet, so I don't want to say it on here because this will be up before then. But it's kind of a big deal. So we're using his studio to do it. And that will be more professional guests. Our goal moving forward with the show and the podcast is, you know, to keep doing this. We want to continue working together and go on tour. So that's something that Jess and I both really want to do is once we blow it up and we get all these big guests and, you know, you guys are invested in it, we want to kind of do a tour and visit, um, different states and different cities and do like an in-person live show podcast basically and of course it would still be recorded but that's kind of a really big bullet goal that the two of us have so also with this podcast and show comes doing social media full-time so that's why i'm re bringing the youtube channel back from the dead um so i will be posting at least once a week back to the vlog content of course i'll do some sit down videos like this but i just love vlogging the past two nights i've laid in my bed till 3 a.m and watched my old vlogs from bama and just like i loved being able to go back and watch that time in my life from the time that i transferred and moved and to now you know it's really cool and that's something that i've missed doing this past year so i obviously want to bring that back with all these big changes coming and i've got another announcement coming in a second but YouTube, um, TikTok, the TikTok will be linked below, the Instagram will be linked below, and the Twitter will be linked below for myself and the Jess and Jay Cho, so make sure you guys go follow, check it out, subscribe to me if you're not already, and then of course subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jess and Jay Cho. I'm all over the place, but I feel like there's just so much to talk about and so much to cover. I'm trying to get it all fit in in a short amount of time because I don't want to bore you or lose you, but yeah, so with that, I will be doing social media full time, but I'm also going to be working for the company as well, and so here's the kicker. Um, obviously I'm living in Kentucky right now. I moved back last May. I've been here for a year now and where am I going next? I'm not staying in Kentucky. Um, I never, never wanted to move back here. So my goal was always to get back out. Like once I got out of this job anyways, but if you know me, you know, I am not a fan of the North or the cold. So when I tell you this next piece of information, you might be a little shocked, but I will be moving in a month to Michigan. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit excited. I do know a few people that live up there. They said like it's a lot of fun in the summer. The goal from there is to move to Nashville. Are you guys still following me? Can you keep up? Are, do you know what's going on? Because I'm just as confused as you are. This all happened in two weeks. So I presented, I presented the situation to my boss that I'm currently under uh, the first week of April. Like the first day of April is actually like April Fool's Day when I told him and I felt really bad about that but he was super nice and understanding and so were all of my co-workers and I instead of putting a two week notice in put a two month notice in so I am still working there until the end of May and then I'll start the moving product process so uh, my vlogs and everything will still be here in Kentucky obviously next week I'm going to Nashville Detroit Cleveland for work stuff with Jess so I'll be vlogging all of that and we're gonna sit down and make a video together kind of like this um, explaining into greater detail the Jess and Jay show and everything that we have planned so if you guys are still a little bit confused make sure you subscribe like I said and stay tuned for that it will be up next week and hopefully you guys will have a better understanding of that I don't want to keep talking I just wanted to make a video before I just jump back into the vlogs and I'm like hey I'm back after like 10 months of not posting anything and you guys are like wait a minute wait a minute like I thought she was working in Kentucky as a reporter and now she's in Michigan doing social media and I'm so confused so I was like before I get any further I wanted to sit down and get it all out there if you guys have any questions please leave comments or DM me on Instagram I will get back to you as soon as possible because I know this is all very confusing but I still get DMs and see people out that are like, why don't you vlog anymore? And I haven't really been able to answer that. So I hope this all kind of cleared it up for you guys. I'm very excited to be back. If you are watching my channel for the first time, or if you're a returning subscriber that thought I literally died and fell off the face of the earth, share this with a friend, share the Jess and Jay show with a friend, your mom, dad, dog, aunt, uncle, brother, fish, whatever. We're really trying to, you know, make this a career and blow it up and do well with it. I will probably in my next vlog be 
letting you guys know my like official uploading schedule my goal is to upload on the same day at the same time every day it's a little difficult right now because i am working two jobs doing a lot and my reporting job requires pretty much all day every day and a lot of travel um just like around the area and stuff so it's it's a little difficult but within the next month everything should be kind of you know set in stone and situated so i will be you'll be seeing a lot more of me and at least once a week for now but i hope you guys aren't too confused i hope you are excited like i am that we're we're back to doing this i promise not to leave you stranded again i've said it a hundred times i'll say it again everything is linked down below all of mine and the jess and jade shows instagram twitter tiktok apple spotify links the youtube links and of course the subscribe button and hit the like button on this video so that more people see it and they know i'm not actually dead all right thank you guys so much for watching i love ya i can't wait to get back to it i'll see you next time Thank you.